What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. We're happy to have you back. Today guys, we are going to be talking about how to curb aggressive behavior with a Jack Russell Terrier. How to get this dog right here, be less aggressive, how to recognize it, what to do, especially if you've adopted a Jack Russell a little bit later in their lifespan and maybe they've been trained a certain way already and you're trying to work with them to get rid of some of these aggressive behaviors. So that is what we're gonna cover today. As we always say guys, a thumbs up on this video goes a long way for us getting recognized by the YouTube algorithm. So if you could do that for us, that would be great. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that notification button if you haven't already so you're notified every week when these new videos come out. We are thrilled to see the channel growing and thriving at this time. It is doing great, Luna's happy about it. But for now guys, let's go ahead and jump into this topic of curbing aggressive behavior with a Jack Russell Terrier. And the first thing I wanna talk about in this video, guys, I really wanna talk about their reputation. That's where we should start this conversation because this dog does get a reputation for being a little bit on the aggressive side. They're kind of known online or there are forums or websites. There's even, you know, professionals who claim that this isn't the easiest dog to deal with when it comes to aggressive behavior. The first thing I can tell you about that, guys, is whether or not it it's true from past experiences with you know dog bites or if they've done something that happens with every dog breed some just happen to get a little more fame for it than other ones and a lot of the reputation that is probably derived about this dog being a little bit aggressive is purely because they have an insane prey drive. So they have a very tough time, you know, not chasing other animals. They don't do great with territorial situations. So a lot of it's reputation, but a lot of it is real too. I'm sure you guys just looking at <laughs> us interacting right now. Clearly Luna's a sweetheart, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have a side to her that is more aggressive. And I, well, I can tell you this too, next week's video is going to talk about that in a lot more depth um, when it comes to this dog interacting with a specific animal. But let's start moving into what you can actually do as the owner to curb some of those aggressive behaviors. First thing I can tell you guys is something I bet you can guess what I'm going to say next. I say it in so many of the videos, but the first thing you need to do is just understand this dog's needs. Aggressive behavior a lot of the time can be stemmed from not only how the dog's raised, but just simply not meeting what they need. And with this dog, it always comes back to the same thing every single time, and that is exercise and energy draining activities, so to speak. This dog is just two different dogs when it gets what it needs. And I don't know how many videos it'll take to get that point across. I'll probably keep saying it, but it's super important to know. So if you wanna have a chance at keeping aggression in check, start with the basics. Give them what they need. Clearly show them love and have respect for the dog, but make sure you are providing that exercise. Whether it's walks, runs, fetch in the backyard, go into a dog park, go and swimming out at the lake. Whatever you wanna do, that's fine. I don't care what the exercise is. You cannot do anything behavioral training wise with this dog if you can't meet those first initial needs correctly. The next biggest tip I have for you guys that you have to understand too is you have to recognize this dog's personality. You have to understand when it's aggression and when it's not, okay? So one of the best examples I can give you, I need to start making a video of this. I never do it because it always happens in the morning, I'm always tired and I just don't think about grabbing my camera. But whenever Graham and Luna go outside together, Graham is my big yellow lab, the first thing they do is almost play fight. Uh, it's every day. It's never um, injury causing, it's never terrible. But to the naked eye, if somebody was just meeting Luna or didn't know how those dogs interacted with each other, it would look aggressive. Luna comes across as aggressive in those situations. But she's just playing. Now on the flip side, if it was you know a friend's dog she's never met, a dog that she's not socialized with, that could be a problem. You need to make sure that you recognize those situations and read the room correctly and take the necessary precautions needed to keep all the dogs or all the people involved safe, right? So with Luna in particular, if say some, one of my friends or family members wanted to bring their dog over and they had not met, I am not going to have Luna just go freely roam the backyard with this dog without some supervision. Even at almost four years old, I'm not going to do it with Luna because even though she's nice and does pretty good with other dogs, she, Jack Russells do have a little bit of a short leash when it comes to what will make them get pissed off, so to speak, or a little bit irritated. It's not a situation I'm comfortable with, and I don't know how many Jack Russells are. If you have a dog that's never had a problem with other dogs, that's probably fine. And they were probably socialized in an excellent way with other pets. And Luna has been too. Luna just doesn't do well with other dogs getting attention. She's protective of the yard, and she's a protective dog in nature. So if that dog, you know, 
pushes a limit that Luna doesn't like, which a good example is, you know, Luna will leave you alone, another dog, and she'll make it clear that she wants to be left alone, but if that dog persists or doesn't really follow that, you know, nonverbal cue that Luna's trying to give, then she will get a little snippy. It's also important to know that if this dog does get snippy with aggressive behavior is they're not really big fans of losing, and I don't know if they would. This dog would fight a grizzly bear um, if she had the opportunity to, so you don't want to be in that situation as the owner where you're promoting a situation where aggressive behavior can take place um, because most likely it's going to be the other dog that gets hurt. Like, I think Luna would probably easily want to fight with Graham too because Graham just doesn't have that fighting mentality and she's not a fighting dog so to speak but Jack Russell's when they get in that zone um, they they can throw down with the best of them so you do want to be careful of that so so far into the video guys we've covered you need to be able to recognize aggressive behavior you know and that includes situations when might that aggressive behavior take place and what can you do to not even go into those situations to begin with and you need to understand your dog's personality and meet their needs. Up next on the list guys is taking active actions to start curbing those behaviors. So the first thing I can tell you to do is you need to socialize with every situation possible. They need to get around other pets at a very young age. They need to be comfortable with other dogs and they need to learn from example. So either from you, whoever's training them, or if the other dog is well-trained, they need to learn what's right and what's wrong. So they need to know that, hey, we don't play rough, so to speak. So you need to reward good behaviors when they're young, when they're getting along with other animals, you know, reward them for that. You don't need to scold them because a little mini dog fight breaks out necessarily, but you know, when they're playing nice and doing what it's hard to really put this into words guys when they're doing what you think they should be doing when they're around a social situation make them comfortable with that situation even further by rewarding them by making it clear that that's what they should be doing and just really re-cementing into their brains that this is what you want as the owner i've said it in a lot of videos that this dog is huge on pleasing their owners in a fashion that they don't want to do anything that you don't approve of. They want constant approval, constant affection, and constant love. So the more you can show them that in situations when they're doing something right, the faster they're going to pick up on it and the more they're going to want to do that. Another tip I have for you guys is something super basic, but if you want to curb the aggressive behavior, you need to be able to witness it. You can't train a dog to do something when you're not around to see the bad action take place. So the best example for that is supervised scenarios where where aggressive behavior is possible. If they are meeting a new dog for the first time, because you do want to have a friend's dog allowed to come over to your house, you know, whatever the situation is, you need to supervise that interaction. That way you can intervene easily, you can stop bad behavior if needed, or you can reward the good behavior when you see it. It's very hard to train this dog to do something correctly or to reward them for a behavior when you don't actually witness it happen. Rewards need to happen very quickly after a behavior for it to actually cement into their brains that that's what they did right. If there's too much of a delay between a good behavior and a reward, they're going to struggle to understand what they're getting that reward for to begin with, which is just a confusing situation for the dog all the way around. So meet their needs, understand the difference between aggressive and playful behavior, be careful about the situations you expose this dog to if you're not comfortable or you haven't had the dog long enough to know how they'll react, and be sure to try and reward early for the right behaviors during the socialization process. Socialize them a lot, get them around those situations, and reward them when they do things correctly. That is really the key to this dog learning how to do anything that you want them to do because like I said, they want to please you but if they don't know that they are it's very hard for them to continue it so you have to make sure you're giving them some kind of signal or cue that they are doing something correctly another thing i want to point out and be super transparent about guys is you just need to understand too that why i'm saying all this and luna looks you know the way she does and super sweet and she is super sweet i will be the first to tell you that you know a jack russell can be an aggressive dog um, i've seen her chase other animals in the yard that aren't dogs or cats or anything like that but they have an aggressive demeanor when they get into that prey drive so you should understand that when you adopt them um, and you should be that should be in the back of your mind whenever you go into situations that you haven't done or you're not comfortable with but on the flip side of that if I'm gonna be fully transparent and tell you that they can be aggressive I will tell you this that they can totally be trained to an extent with other animals children obviously to be an awesome dog that has no aggression at all when it comes to our family no aggression at all from her if it came to a dog she's never met aggressions possible just like with any dog other you know rodent type animals animals in the backyard aggressive dog she's a they're hunt they hunt 
they want to get that prey and finish it. So it is in their personality a little bit. You just have to do your best to train them early, get them in those situations and reward them when they do things right and you'll be in a lot better shape. As always guys, this is one of those topics I would love to hear your feedback on. So if you have gone through this or you've struggled worse than what I've made it sound like with aggression with the Jack Russell, be sure to share those stories in the comments down below so other people can maybe get better tips from you. You know, some of you may have had a way more aggressive Jack Russell in the beginning and you've done a great job at training it out of them, which could be very helpful to anybody watching this video if you drop those comments. Otherwise, we don't really know unless you share that story. So leave those stories for us. As always, guys, be sure to give us that thumbs up so that we can get seen by the YouTube algorithm, get seen by more individuals with Jack Russell so we can help them out as well. Never forget to head over to terrierowner.com. It's a blog website that'll share all of these topics with you in a written format so you can check those out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you're notified for next week's video. Outside of that, guys, Luna and I appreciate you guys. As always, we're happy to be back, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.